So we come to the last part of our um, day here. And um, I just wanted us to take some time at our tables to think about um, where we go from here. So we've heard some excellent presentations today and uh, maybe uh, some doors have opened to knowing about what data we have in the institution, what um, might be accessed, who is working on it, at least a snapshot, because uh, there's many more who weren't represented today um, in today's program. Um, so if we could take a few minutes, uh, maybe five minutes or so, um, to just discuss where we think, what are the pressing issues that, given what we heard today that we should take on, even if there's three things that come up at each of your tables, uh, we can regroup and hear them and then wrap up. Thank you. So, um, in the debrief at your tables, what steps do you have for us to consider? Anyone? This one. Hi, we talked briefly uh, and kind of came up with questions more than answers, but just thinking about ways to connect the questions that are coming from folks around campus with the data and like the annual reports that already exist. So where could that happen? And what we were talking about is maybe the enterprise data, data management group is kind of working on connecting data resources across campus and they might be a resource to help connect questions with data that and reports that already already exist. Great. Anyone else? Oh, there's Peter. So I'm, I'm going to I just noticed that our um, serial results are sortable by um, like race, ethnicity, gender, mm -hmm. gender identity. So I'm going to go in there and make an executive summary and share with our faculty. Um, the, the story I hear about our faculty is that as long as you present them data, they'll listen. Mm -hmm. It's BS. <laughs> they they, there's very strong confirmation bias among everybody with what people presume to be true. And even the most kind of analytical type people kind of cling to what they believe is true in the face mm -hmm. of data. So along with that data, I, I hope to just be uh, very strategic and influencing and, and, and try to um, share some stories uh, perhaps or find other, other other avenues to influence them beyond just the pure data because I, I in my experience, it just hasn't hasn't worked by itself. That's great. I, th I think we saw a little bit of that with the photo voice and you know other kinds of data. It, it, completes the picture in complex and meaningful ways. Anyone else, any uh, sort of next steps or things we should consider? Okay, so then I'm going to um, turn it over to Teddy in a minute, but before that I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to the Office for Equity and Diversity, the School of Nursing and the Office for Undergraduate Education for helping sponsor this event. And on page 10 of your program, you may have already seen, but this is not possible without a lot of support. So all, thank you to all our volunteers. Um, thank you to also, our tech team in the back that, as you've seen all through today, has been so helpful. And also, thank, I wanted to say thank you to John Williams and Lisa Marshall, who helped uh, preparing for this event um, from the Office for Equity and Diversity, including developing this beautiful program. And with that, I'll turn it over to Teddy. My closing remark is this day has made me all the more proud to work at the University of Minnesota and that amazing work is being done by colleagues in all these various, diff uh, various different areas. Um, the challenge is we don't always know about each other. And so it, um, you've heard me say over and over again today about the importance of dissemination and we just need to get on top of this and really building the network so, so that we all know we, ch we exist you exist. How do we um, recommend uh, your services to students that might be seeking help or needing help? 
Um, but it's exciting to know we have the pieces. We just have to really pull them together. So we look forward to seeing you at DDDD6. Um, and if any of you are interested in helping us uh, plan that, we're always looking for new ideas and new members for our assessment committee. So thank you all for coming today and all of the, you that presented.